The Jacksonville rapper known as Fulio made a rare court appearance today. Jones is a key figure in a bloody rivalry between two Jacksonville gangs. On April 5th, rapper Julio Fulio was booked into Duval County Jail. This video contains the interview of rapper Fulio, who was pulled over for a routine stop in the hopes of gaining evidence in a murder investigation. On April 5th, 2022, Jacksonville police targeted rapper Charles Jones, AKA Fulio, whom they suspected of being involved in a gang-related murder. Without having anything they could charge him with, they pulled him over for having windows that were too tented and then accused him of trying to evade arrest. The department later confessed that the stop wasn't about illegal tent, but a targeted effort to confiscate his cell phone. Fulio was held on the scene, handcuffed for two and a half hours before being taken to the state attorney's office for questioning in a separate murder investigation. Yo. Hey, do you know what they gonna do? No, I'm wrong with you, Tom. Hmm? What have you done? Never. No. No. I go mount Detective McIntosh. I'm I'm doing well, man. Um, I'm I'm not here obviously to talk talk to you about um, what you are you know arrested for right now. I'm arrested. Or what you detained for? Yeah. Um, I apologize about that. So those those things will come up later while you're down here as far as you know being in the back of the police car, right? Mm -hmm. Um, are you? Charles Andrew Jones II, mm -hmm. date of birth 621, 1998. Mm -hmm. All right, um, what's your social? I don't even remember. Okay, that's fine. All right, All right. the reason why I'm here, I'm with the homicide unit, um, and I am lead on your friend's case. Ooh. You know, you don't have, you have a friend who just recently got killed? Uh, a lot of friends that, um, recently, Mitch. Oh, yeah. Fulio is affiliated with the gang KTA, which has been engaged in a years-long bloodbath with the gang ATK, affiliated with rival Jacksonville rapper Young Jean Ace. Oh, okay. Um, so I, I'm lead on that. Um, I know that, uh, I don't know how close you guys were. Um, so, I mean, just kind of give me some insight on, you know, the reason why I want to talk to you because that's your friend first and foremost, and I'm sure yeah. you want something done about what happened to him. But um, can you kind of give me a you know just run down on y'all relationship when y'all met? How long y'all been partners or whatever? Yeah. Um, I don't know. He was like twelve, thirteen. Okay. I was probably been? like sixteen, fifteen, or some shit like that. So what what did y'all what was y'all relationship? Um, you know, as y'all got older. He used to call to my mama's house. Down. I used to go on the corner. Okay. He used to come over there. Okay. Come over there. Can't do it without everybody. Used to come out. He used to come over there. So his, you know what I'm saying? Support and shit. What, um, what type of work do you do? Hmm. What type I'm of an artist. That's You're an artist? Yeah. Okay. As far as like what you rap? Yeah. Okay. Who you rap for? I'm like, what's your, what's your label? Create Music. You create music? No, it's called Create Music Group. Create Music Group? Yeah. Only oh, been a rapper. All my life, really. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Um, and what was what was Mitch? What was his role in your in your uh, for your your entertainment purposes? Like, what was his role with you? What would you call him? That's just my brother. He ain't really had no role. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just nigga I grew up with. <clears throat> So why you what you still why you in Jacksonville for? Hmm? You I came back down there, bit this this how quick shit at, you know what I'm saying? What you was here for? Yo, we got you. I just, yeah, I got people here, but I just came down there bit. So this how quick shit over. How you get back and forth and just drive or you fly? Both. I drive, fly. Whatever. You drive to California? 
No, yeah, hell no. I fly to Cali. Yeah, yeah, man, that's like that's a long 30 time. hour drive or something. Well, as far as, as far as Mexico, what are you what are you hearing? And I, and I know and no, I really shit though. I was in Miami when when I heard the news, you know what I'm saying? I was down south with the mom making music and shit. And I saw niggas just posting on Instagram, Mitch there, everybody every, the whole Jacksonville, Mitch, Mitch, Mitch. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what the fuck? So shit, I called his mama. And then she was like, shit, it's true. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what the fuck? Then uh, that's how that went. I just want afterwards they were like, what you been here? I mean, this your home. This your homeboy, bro. I ain't. You know what I'm I went to his funeral and all. I ain't really. You know what I'm saying? You would never know. You know what I'm saying? Right. Niggas ain't gonna just come out and just say, "Oh, I killed Nick." You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm talking about y'all group. Like from your end, who? You, what names are you guys hearing? I ain't really hearing shit. That's what I'm saying. You ain't going I don't know. Okay. Okay. So, has there been? Let me ask you this. And I don't know. Like the dynamics of your, you know, your rap career and things of that nature. Yeah. Um, I know everybody made diss songs back and forth towards each other. Um, so, was there anything within your your group um, that was happening? Like anybody was feuding or anybody had beef with one another um, within your within your circle? Okay. Not nobody else. Uh, Fulio is a pioneer in the murder rap genre in which presumed gang members celebrate and mock the violent death of rivals. These songs can often be used to find clues about who is responsible for each murder. Even if Fulio was not directly involved, there's a high probability that he knows what happened. I recently released another highly intense video on my Patreon, an explosive altercation between two cops, where tension escalated so quickly, resulting in a drawn gun and a devastating gunshot. In a mere 26 seconds, witness the events unfold as two officers engage in a fight that turns deadly. Watch this video and more at patreon.com slash stranger stories plus. Um, we be chilling, bro. I don't be on that. You don't be on what? Like, what's the, why would I be for my brothers? They don't, they don't make sense. I'm just saying, well, because the only reason I ask that is because of, like, when, when it comes to, like, money situations and people not getting their money or, you know, if somebody feel like they're getting short, or anything of that nature, then that's when end fighting begins. You know what I'm saying? Not like probably directly or just anything. It's just because of money situations going on. But um, I'm a rapper, right? If I'm getting the money, who who can be getting shorted? I'm getting the money. Well, shoot, you know what I mean, anybody can be getting shorted. I don't get short. nobody's shit. You get what I'm saying? Not, not necessarily you, but somebody within there feeling like they ain't getting theirs. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Was there anything like that going on? No, hell no. <clears throat> Well, again, I guess my question more so is what what have you been hearing since this, this happened in January? So I'm I'm pretty sure you heard some things um, that may you know what I'm saying be able to lead to a, a, you know successful as far as finding out uh, who may have been involved or you know what I'm saying because what we don't want is um, like back and forth retaliation. You get what I'm saying? If you guys if you may know or hear something that that'd be helpful as well because if you know his mom, you you can sit up there and call his mom. Then I'm pretty sure you would want her to have some answers as well. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it real. Listen, I'm a lasagna. I'm a little brother Brady. Okay. I don't know who did this. I don't know. I you ain't know saying who exactly who. No, I'm just saying. Who did you hear? You never. I ain't hear. That's what I'm saying. You would never know. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I just heard shit. They said little brother got shot. I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I'm in Miami at the time though. Mm-hmm. Recording and shit. So boom, I'm like, fuck. Now I gotta go to another funeral, pay for his funeral, and do shit like that. Mm-hmm. You ain't tired of that, man? Yeah, yeah. But I'm known of this shit. But you what? No. I mean, I get it, but like, what you gonna do about it? What you mean? You say you known to it. Like, what do you, you don't feel like this, a bunch of shit happening around you? Like, how that feel to you? It's a, shit, it's a blessing and a curse, shit. I don't want nobody around me to die, but that's just how this. So I life set up shit. I got shot multiple times. You know what I'm saying? That's how life set up. Do you feel like you got to look over your shoulder all the time? I do that when I'm out of time. I just had a show in South Carolina. Like, uh-huh. And I got punched. Shit. That just, on stage? Yeah, nigga punched me. And just a kid to beat him up. Like, that's just how life is. Though, bro, I'm famous. You know what I'm saying? So a nigga, a regular nigga who ain't got shit going to try, you know what I'm saying? Try to get some strikes. Or, you know what I'm saying? I'm famous, bro. 
Attacks are routine in Fulio's business, and he knows that his life could come to an end on any given day. Oh, that should be. Are you, you signed with a big record level? Mm-hmm. That's just who? Craig Mee. You got an instrument. I ain't never heard of him. I'm talking about like Universal or something like that. No, nah, Craig Mee, that's a big label shit. They got a couple niggas sitting on. They got a couple niggas on their label. They got Takashi? They got Tory Lanez. It's a couple niggas on their label. So, so back to Mitch, let me ask you this. Like, did he, um, how often, like, when was the last time you spoke with him? Uh, before damn. he was killed. Shit. What was the last time I talked to him? I probably was on. Damn. Probably in the club or some shit. I don't even know. Probably in the, in the club in Tallahassee. Probably in Tallahassee or some shit. Tallahassee Florida was in the club. Do you know when that was? Was that at the beginning of the year? Uh. All right, that in the last year. That shit probably was in like February or some shit. I don't know. February this year? Yeah, February, late February. So I don't know. Yeah, probably yeah, but that couldn't happen because he was killed in January. I don't know. I know it was in Tallahassee for sure. That was the last time I was with him. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Shit. How did y'all communicate? Did y'all communicate by like phone, Instagram, Facebook? I see him telling on the daily. You know what I'm saying? Okay. This my, like this ain't no just no regular person. You know what I'm saying? I know him for real, so I'm, mm-hmm. I see him on the daily. You know what I'm saying? Did you know his girlfriend? I didn't know her like that, but I knew he had a baby. Shit. Mm-hmm. Did you ever go around his house or anything? No, I ain't never been to his house. Didn't know where he, you ain't know where he I've been to his first house, the one on what the fifth, but I ain't been wherever he moved. I ain't been that house. Do you, let me ask you this. Um, did y'all have a type of relationship um, as far as like, hey man, these motherfuckers on me, or, you know what I'm saying? I had issues with this guy, that guy, you know what I'm saying? Did y'all have a relationship like that where he would tell you, or did he mention things of that nature? You said, he said what? Like, did he mention to you that any issues that he had with anyone? But I'm going to keep it real, bro. Mitch wasn't even no, like, beef, he ain't that. You know what I'm saying? He was cool. Like, he was out the way sitting with his girl. And he wasn't that type of nigga, bro. Mm. Uh-huh. So, this this may be a hard question. I ain't going to say it's a hard question, but do you think that your music or your ways or the way you conduct yourself through your music had anything to do with him because of the way y'all nah cause even before I was rapping shit it was shit going you know what I'm saying like this Jacksonville bro like it's a lot like you know what I'm saying it's Jacksonville bro mm-hmm. you, can't just, Jacksonville. you can't just say it's my music that why somebody died you know what I'm saying okay do you think it influenced someone or trigger someone like the way Y'all going back and forth with this shit. Nah, it's a million niggas make songs. It's like all through the shit, like so it can't I mean, you, but you know what I'm talking about. You right? can't let no songs do that. No, but you're no, but, but you saying that you can't let no song do that. But the, nowadays, like you said, it's Jacksonville. A lot of things trigger people to do certain things. Man, you know that shit got to be in you. You ain't gonna let no song just go. That like me if I hear a song that a nigga mind is gonna let a nigga go crash me out off a song. Like, get what I'm saying? You never know, man. That's that's what I'm asking. Yeah, I'm just asking. Do you feel that way? Yeah. Do you do you feel that way? No. A song can't make no nigga go do nothing, bro. While the songs can't make someone do something that they weren't already considering, the lyrics can give a sense of validation or permission to carry out the acts that they otherwise might not follow through. I'm just asking. I'm just asking if it, if it had any influence uh, that somebody may have got him, you know what I'm saying, somebody who you close to because of, you know what I'm saying, which all what may be rapped about or uh, what may be said through social media, things things like that, um, the way you guys communicate, the way things are communicated or um, taken out of context sometimes. You know? yeah. um, unfortunately, you know, um, I, I want to get answers for his mom. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, I think it was, it was, what happened to him was bad. Um, and, you know, being that you're close for him, that's why I want to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? So, and again, you say if people around you, you know what I'm saying, getting killed, you getting, getting in fights and shit while you rapping, 
You know what I'm saying? Like that's just that's just a crazy life to live to me. You know what I'm saying? Because I think all rappers are all. I ain't never seen a rap. I mean, I mean, I ain't gonna say I've never seen a rap, but a lot of rappers ain't going through what you might be going through. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, at some point that turn has to be made. Uh, some at some point you gotta, you know, understand what's going on. But um, I digress. I mean, do you have any questions? You good right now? I'll be back yeah. in a minute. I'm sure. Okay. All right, man. We'll be back. Uh, yes, good you good. Minute, sir. Uh, you good on work? Yeah. All right. Fulio claims that he has no information about the murder, but within gangs, snitching is discouraged and met with disgust at the best of times. It is an action that could easily get him killed. All right, come back. You sure? So, all right, she made a go. Take the solo. Take the day one. All right. Go mm-hmm. so, to the police. We're going to do the whole police thing. All right, read your rights and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to holler at you about everything that's going on. Okay. More rights about what? Your constitutional rights before we get talking. Oh, okay. All right. You know where we're at right now? No. Okay. This is the state attorney's office. All right. Four, five, 22, 22 p.m. All right. Not trying to be offensive or anything like that. I gotta ask you. You can read and write, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, man, you'd be surprised. There's so many people that can. So, will you read that top line for me out loud? Uh, you do not have to make a statement. Oh, okay, so okay, that mark. You had violent rights under the United States Constitution. Cool. I'll read the rest. You do not have to make a statement or say anything. Anything you say can be against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before you make a statement or before any questions are asked of you and have the lawyer with you during any questioning. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, it won't be appointed for you before any questioning if you wish. If you answer questions, you have the right to stop answering questions at any time and consult with the lawyer. You mm-hmm. understand all that? They didn't give me my phone so I could call my lawyer. They said they were going to give them to me so I could make a call. Yeah, we, we got all, all property. Uh-huh. Okay. So when, when, when you said that, do you want your lawyer here? I mean, like you're, you're mentioning call your lawyer like that kind of is like a muddy water thing. Like, right. do you want your lawyer here? Before you ask any questions, or do you want to talk about what happened today? And we we'll talk about what happened today. So you don't want you don't want your you, you see how that's kind of a trick bag for us. Right. So do you want your lawyer here or no? Mm-hmm. It's good. Great care has been taken to ensure that they have a suspect's consent to ask questions without a lawyer present, and that they are not denying the suspect legal representation. If that can be placed in doubt, any evidence could become inadmissible. It's straight, it's straight to talk to you. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, cool. And you're you're not under like any influence of drugs, right? Like you no. don't understand what's going on right now. You no, I understand. Okay. Oh, All right. Cool. All right. You sign that top one for me. I put the X by. Let's just say that I read them to you, and that's you understand. All right. We'll sign it with you. Is that how you sell all your fan mail? Mm-hmm. No? Yeah, so I can't keep that? You can sell it when you make it big? Mm-hmm. On platinum? You got a different autograph? Mm-hmm. You got an autograph? I just signed shit. Mm-hmm. Oh. People don't ask you to sign a lot of stuff all the time? Yeah, I do it. Okay. What, uh, what's your tour schedule looking like? A lot of club shows. You do? Who books those for you? A label. Oh, okay. Who's that? Craig Mule. Where's that? You said that Cali. Is it create or create? Create music. Create, like make something yeah. create? Okay, all right. I didn't really catch it earlier. I wrote it down, and I wasn't even sure after you said it a couple times. I started kind of yeah. messing it. But you, you work for them, or they work for you? How does that shit work? Shit, both. Like, I make them money, they make me money. So do they pay for like all your studio time and all yeah. that? Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, like all the money you make from a show and stuff, they get a cut of that? Mm-hmm. They get a cut of my like royalties and shit. Royalties mm-hmm. check. What's that mean? Like streaming, YouTube, SoundCloud, shit like that. But you still uh, make money off of this? Yeah. They just make some too? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. okay. How'd you get hooked up with them? They helped me up. Oh, recently or it's been a while? A little while, but like a year ago. I got you. Like headhunting? 
No, nah, probably like a year and a half ago, two years ago. No, nah, I mean, it was like headhunting. Like, they go out scouting talent and say, oh, this yeah. looks like a good one. Let's fly him out and talk to him. Yeah. Okay. They signed anybody else from Jacksonville? No, I don't think so. No. What, uh, how long is your contract for? Um, I got three mixtape deal with them, so whenever I get on three mixtapes. So is a mixtape like five songs? Yeah, uh, we might that one to put on them. Yeah. Have you done any already with them? No. I haven't even done the person? Mm-hmm. No. Okay. What, um, so, so today, all right, like, you, you were driving your car, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Who, who, who was in the car with you? It was two other people. Two other people? And who are they to you? They're just some people I know. Just some people you know? Yeah. Both of them. All right. Um, how long have you known them? Probably like a year, two, no, probably like two, three years. Two or three years for, for each of them or like? Yeah, probably, uh, I grew up one of them, but the other one I probably knew like two, three years, some shit like that. Okay. Who'd you grow up with, the front seat passenger or the back seat? Yeah, the front seat passenger. Front seat? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he, I, did, he said he was like his brother or something, right? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. All right, so you've known him for a while? Yeah. I got you. So y'all are just friends, all right? Not, not blood? Uh, my cousin. He's your blood cousin? Yeah, this is my cousin, that's it. Which ones? The one in the front. The one in the front, your cousin? Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't barely hear you. You got all the eyes in the teeth. <laughs> You're good. Um, all right, so um, you got dark tint on your car, right? Yeah. Okay, why Why do you have dark tint on your car? That's how I bought it. That's how you bought it? Yeah. Why did you keep it like that? It got shot up. I mean, my car got shot up. I was in New Jacksonville, Riverside. The same car? Yeah, the same car. He got bullet holes on it. The illegal dark tenting was the initial excuse the police used to pull Fulio over. Oh, bro. I got it back to like that. I saw some damage on it, but I didn't see any bullet holes. Where yeah, the bullet holes all in the roof and all. Shit. Where, where was that at? Riverside. Riverside. In Riverside? Yeah. Where, where, whereabouts in Riverside? Uh, by the Gates gas station. When I got in the shootout, the self-defense shootout. Police never came out? Yeah, the police came. Remember I got hit in the leg? Y'all don't remember that shit happened? I don't know, there's, there's a lot going on. Yeah, what were you doing? You were at a gate gas station, you said? No, I was at the studio. Oh, the studio? Yeah. Oh, okay. Shit, I didn't know. Another though. I was sitting in the car. They shot the car. I oh. shot back. They got a studio down there in Riverside? Yeah. Is it pretty good? Or? Yeah, it's great. Shit. You been back? Hmm? You go back? Did I go back? Mm-hmm. No, I ain't been back to it. No. no probably, probably kind of bad luck if they yeah, got shot at. Yeah, you think they had anything to do with it? Who? Studio? Yeah. Nah, he is a little white dude. He cool as hell. He, hell no. He was clueless. Yeah, he was. He, you know what I'm saying? The police had him in the back of the car today. All this. Oh, they did. Yeah. All right. So you shot. You said you shot back. Yeah, I shot back. Self defense. They took my gun and gave him back. Did you see what you were shooting at? Yeah, it was like a motherfucking car. They hopped out. Two niggas hopped out shooting him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What kind of car was it? I don't know, but I know I saw two people though. Yeah. Short. They dark skinned or light skinned? I don't know. They had masks on this shit. I got gotcha. you. COVID mask? No, like mask. Like a ski mask? Yeah, that mask, yeah. Uh-huh. I got gotcha. you. Man, uh-huh. okay. So you got dark window tent uh-huh. on the car when you got it. Yeah. So like you bought it and then and it went- came with dark tent and then it got shot up. And then it went to another shop and then I got it back like that. Okay. Did you get a retinted in between? No. Okay, I didn't know they shot out the windows. No, yeah, the windows were shot out. So like, you got it retinted? No, they, when I got it back from the shop, they, uh-huh. they was tinted, got shot out, they retinted it, gave it back. Oh, I got you. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Saying, so you got it retinted after the shooting? and They tinted it, the shop people. They tinted right. I guess when they put the window, when they put it on. So yeah, maybe, maybe I asked incorrectly. It got retinted yeah. in between the shooting and then. Yeah. Okay. All right. Shot I got it from the evidence room. Right. Shit. Okay. So it's been tinted twice? Yeah. Got you. All right. So the, the, cause we put a 10 meter on it, so we got to read the tent, you feel me? Yeah. And the back windows were lighter than the front ones. Wow. So did the back ones get shot at? I um, don't, I can't even remember. I know for sure the front windshield, the, the passenger and the driver, I know for sure that. Okay. The driver, like right beside you whenever you're yeah. driving? Yeah. That yeah, one I got that? shot at. Okay. The windshield, the passenger, I forgot about the back shit. The detectives have no interest in the tent. This crime is usually given a fine that does not exceed $500. This was merely an excuse to bring Fulio in for questioning. I got you. Did you change your tag or anything up after that? No. 
Just kept everything straight. Same mm-hmm. way it was. Oh. Okay. Things are dark, man. It's dark? Yeah. The condo? Tent. Hell yeah. See, y'all are tent dark. <laughs> Mine ain't. Uh, yeah, the level the police to put me over there, they tent was dark. Not on the, not on the one? The F-150, the, the gray one, and the black one, dark. You see, everybody got dark tent. They're ready. Yeah. I mean, it's Florida, though, man. You feel me? You got that dark tent on there. I get, I get it, you know? Yeah. Um, but, uh, so, so what happened today, man? The police got behind you on MOK or whatever division right there, right? Yeah, and they and, pulled me over. Right. Why? What? So, did you see the blue lights? Mm-hmm. You didn't see the blue lights, bro? No, until I looked back. They were like, but the police behind us, and I threw it in break, and they were like, stop breaching. I opened the door, and when I walked up. They were like, come back to what, you know, the regular shit. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then, and then, all, and then from what I'm to all three of y'all complied. Yeah. Right. What, um, so the, they turned the lights on, like, right right there at the vision, and then, okay. Mm-hmm. Like, right at the turn. So when I mean the right, it's like a pool to the right, right? Uh-huh. So by the time I got past the pool, I looked back, I was like, damn, the police behind us, I think. Yeah. Fulio drove under the posted speed limit for a distance of less than 400 feet and a period of 17 seconds before stopping. Five armed detectives surrounded his Dodge Durango and demanded he exit the vehicle. Jones complied, and nothing illegal was found in the vehicle. Then they, I saw the lights, then he was like, brother, there's the police. I just pulled over shit. I ain't even going nowhere. Well, you know, yeah, I'm kind of I'm familiar with the area. I know that pool is a little yeah. ways down. Yeah, that's yeah. like right no, the railroad track. Yeah, right. crap, so like right. by the train track. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so from what I'm told is they, they they went to go pull you over right there at that turn. You feel me? Yeah, and they did. You know that car got full cameras on it. Like the the truck, the yeah. right there by the tracks. My truck got full cameras. You on. said by the tracks. No, I'm saying my truck got four cameras. I'm on. saying when you turn and you hit the tracks, you, you right, you hit the tracks. Yeah, I went over the tracks. Right. Pulled to the right. Right. Police might be behind me. They threw the lights on. And I pulled over. Right, but you pulled over all the way down on 18th Street. No, I pulled over to the what well, the school the school is it right next to the pool like right the left yeah the, yeah but the pool is like you know back here though you know yeah. you know what I'm saying this it's, it's on the right side yeah right? it ain't that far though like right. I used to go to Grand Park it ain't that far but the know. sirens and everything though you know what I'm saying like they were on mm-hmm. you know like well, I ain't really you know what I'm saying we got music on all types I ain't really you know, I pulled over I did what I was supposed to do. So did, when when you review your cameras on your car, you're going to see that that police car is like right here with its sirens on, and the lights on. You know what I'm saying? That's loud. And you continued to roll, and then they said you you're reaching all over the car. No, I dropped my phones and I reached. Put but you were phone. reaching over, all around the car, right? Yeah, I was reaching for my phone. I was like, damn, where my phone? At? Let me call my mom because my mom had a camera set up in the car. It's linked to both our iCloud, so to video anything recorded from the car go to both our iCloud. So I had a situation. For, you know what I'm saying? What situation? The shooting thing, so I had to keep cameras on the car now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. Do you think that's a real good idea to start, you know, kind of fiddling around? And, you know, I know it was no good idea, but I'm looking for my phone. He told the officer told me what to get out there. I'm yeah. like, shit, bro, my bad shit. I ain't even no harm. I know y'all could have shot me with up. I ain't mean no harm. I mean, especially with guns in the car. And then you were saying there was two guns in the car. And we, I knew, I swear to God, on my Liberta, I thought I bought my Glock outside. I swear to God, I thought I bought my Glock. I used to keep my Glock with me. I got my carry to sell. The whole time it went with me, it was just my F fan. So, shit, that was my mistake. Um, so, when, so, just so we're on the same page, when, when we hit the railroad tracks, you lived up when you got over the tracks because the pool's right by the railroad tracks. Yeah, I got over the railroad tracks. And you rode up, and you was like, damn, that's the police. I'm like, damn, that's it. Dark as hell. I, got, I saw that truck plenty of times, bro. I saw that. That's not my first time seeing that truck. So I looked, I'm like, well, that's a police truck. Got to be. Then I saw the lights. I was right. like, oh, shit. And then you just pull over. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. You kept rolling, though. Yeah, a little bit, because I'm like, damn, what the fuck? Where my phone like, Where my phone at? I got to call my mama, because I'm like, I got to keep my mama on the phone. That's when my auntie pulled up to the scene. She's like, oh, he got to know what's going on. I need to know, you know what I'm saying? Just so they know what's going on. So there was, was, there was a little bit of time then while you're it wasn't you're saying, you saying, can't I gotta, even I gotta, tell me I got to find my phone. I got to look at my phone. Yeah. I got to phone. What would you say, about 30 seconds? Probably 15 at the most. Probably 10. That pool is not that far from that school. I used to go to Grand Park. Right. But yeah. you were going, what, like 15 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour? I like 15. 20? 10. No, I, I wasn't going 20. I know for sure I wasn't going 20. Probably like 15, some shit like that. Because I was rolling just a little slow. You know what I mean? I wasn't even going. I probably wasn't even going 15. You weren't even going 15? I probably wouldn't. I probably was going about probably 12, some shit like that. Okay, I mean... 
I mean, you don't have, like, we ain't gonna pull a radar on it, you know what I'm saying? I, like, I, I, did. I thought I got pulled over. Nobody never told me why I got pulled over. That the dark, dark Y'all just, nobody never said that. Y'all just not telling me this when I got hit. So oh, okay. Nobody okay. never told me. Oh, that. okay. Your 10 star. We put a meter on it. It's 4% on your front okay. windshield, okay? Real yeah. I mean, your front two windows. Uh, sure. The ones with the uh, passenger in the yeah. driver. Front driver. Just the front ones, though. Yeah. Cool. Your, your back, back ones are good. They're fine. Your back ones are at 20%, which is fine. Uh-huh. Um, but, um, so we were at the train tracks and you looked when you crossed over the tracks, right? Mm-hmm. You crossed over the tracks, boom. Then you look back, you're like, damn, that's the police because you saw the lights, right? No, I just you know the car. I know the car, bro. I know the car. Well, you just said you saw the lights, though. Man, that's no, what I'm I trying didn't. to get this By shit the straight. time I crossed the tracks, as soon as you crossed the tracks to pull to the right, I look back, I say, what the hell, the police. I'm driving a little bit, I look back, see the lights, roll a little bit, pull over. I don't get what to do. I pulled over. You know what I'm saying? But you kept rolling though with the lights that are illuminated, man. And the siren on. And the siren was on. We got cameras. When we got out of the truck, my like the siren was on. And then I bet y'all ain't turning the lights on when I made the turn coming out, whatever I was. So making the turn, Charles, okay? And coming over the tracks and, and lighting it up after the tracks are two different things. I'm saying you say y'all turned it on as soon as I made the turn. No, right? I'm saying when you rode across the tracks is what I'm saying. Then y'all uh, definitely saying you turned like, it on. Right when we hit the so railroad tracks. So you're telling me you turned it on when I crossed right the railroad tracks. Right when we crossed the railroad tracks. No, I'm just saying. That's just how I talk. You're, you're talking right? a span of 50 feet. Yeah. If that, from the tracks to the dam to MLK, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay? It's not that big of a deal. That's you know what I'm saying? I'm just so, saying. After, so, so when you cross the railroad tracks is when the lights were turned on, Okay. As we were crossing the railroad tracks. You got me? Yeah. Okay. And then that's when you say, because the pool's right by the railroad tracks, right? Mm hmm. Yes or no? I, I can't. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. As soon as you cross the pool, like, right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Fulio did not attempt to evade the police, but they must continue the farce to justify arresting him and seizing his phone, for which they did not have a search warrant. And then if we pull it up, it's probably like another, maybe like a tenth of a mile from the pool to where you finally stopped at. At 18th and Division was where we were at. So you got to think, if, if 20th and 19th, you know, ran straight through and didn't get cut off by Grand Park School, you feel me? That would yeah, be too. Too, that would, I would too. lined up with the school, too. I would lined up with the side of the school. Right. That would approximately be probably about three blocks that you traveled. No, it wasn't no three blocks. If the streets came through... You would have gone from MLK to 20th to 19th and then stopped at 18th. That's what he's saying. If the streets, if the streets came through, oh. you know, if they didn't stop at Grand Park High School or school. Oh. Okay? That's what I'm just trying to get at, man. Yeah, I don't, I get it, but I ain't gonna lie, I don't get it. I get what you're saying. You're saying that the streets, I get it. All right. All right. And, and, and our lights were on. Why didn't you just stop right there at the pool? That's a hell of a lot safer than stopping in the middle of an intersection. Mm-hmm. Would you agree? Mm-hmm. Just give me that. Would you agree? Yes or no? But I don't have some moments, bro, with the police. So I, you could say that, but my little brother done been killed by the police. So. Well, I, I just don't want to say it just to say it, bro. You feel me? Yeah. All right? I, I just don't want to say it just to say it, but pulling over right over the railroad tracks, right by a pool where nobody, like, nobody's at, but it's it's a wide open place, is a lot safer than stopping in the middle of 18th Street and Division. Mm-hmm. Got a T intersection. Right up. there, you, in, you know? And then there was space in between where the road stopped and the, it's called a shoulder, okay, where the road and the dirt meet, you feel me? Yeah. There was like, there was a couple feet in between that or whatever. I didn't look, but we took a photograph of it. Yeah. Like, what, what would be safer in, in your lifetime to, to stop right here or to stop in a busy-ass intersection where we're doing... We're busy doing intersection so people can see what's going on. But Division Street isn't a it highly was. traveled street? Yeah. Yeah, I say I would put those, so... People can see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I don't. You gotta understand. You know what I'm saying? So division of 18th is busier than MLK and division. I, I didn't see y'all then. You talking about when you turn? I ain't see tracks. I don't. This is nothing but a pool right up. You saying you telling me I should have pulled to a pool? Pull right there. I know that the whole neighborhood really pulled to the pool. Right I, to the side. Nobody at the I pool. I would say yes. Pull to the pool. Nobody at the pool. You got. Like, you got to look. Getting man. off to the I, side. I, 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 I probably get complete with y'all saying, but pull to the pool though. Well, yes, because that's when you first got, we're getting pulled over. You know what I mean? Oh, no, no, no. This, this is, hey, I'm getting pulled over here. I'm going to drive a little bit. To you know? call, to get your phone. Your phone fell down. Right. You kept driving. You said you're trying to call your mom and all that stuff, but you kept driving, bro. 
I wasn't, I was just rolling, bro. It never would have just, bro. See, I'm trying to work with y'all, but I'm getting like frustrated. You know what I'm saying? I'm We're not trying to frustrate you, man. Frustrated. We're not trying to frustrate you. We're it's just a man to man talk, bro. Yeah. yeah. Man to man talk. That's all. That's it. You understand? We're just trying to see what was going on in between here and here. Who who was your brother you said that got that got hurt by the police? Kendrick. Oh, he got killed by Kendrick Allison got killed by Noble. Noble's on the list, both the best fight. He fought him and get fighting in a little bit. Okay. What um who who else who else do you hang out with? What do you mean? Like who who else do you, you hang out with these three? Just in general. I don't think you finna show me a picture or something. What you mean? Oh, no, man. Oh, I don't think you finna show me a picture. Oh, no, man. You talking about the people in the car? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they yeah, they cool as hell. Who, who, who else you kick it with? Shit. Follow my dog around my town. I be with rappers and shit, bro. Your, your dog Wham, he's from out of town? Yeah, but he be like back and forth and shit. He cool as hell. Oh, he comes up here? Yeah. What's his name? Like, his I don't know it really. I know the rap name. Why not? She cool as fuck. Yeah. Like, so shit. Yeah. You hang out with Project Young at all? Yeah, I'll be with Young and Cooler. Come on, cool. we got songs on YouTube, where I started shit, yeah. Oh, I, well, last time I saw y'all was when Y'all was with them? No, no I was Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah. the last time I saw yeah. him and Jackson. He ain't got Yeah, y'all scared him. <laughs> so, y'all scared him. He ain't been back since. Yeah, he ain't been back. Y'all scared him. <laughs> but, um, he's down, where's he down in Tampa? Oh, uh, nah, he probably in Atlanta. Yeah. Um, where you laying your head at now? Well, shit. Seeing that Fulio is getting irritated by the way they are pressuring him about the incident, they switch tacks slightly to talk about his friends and acquaintances, casually bringing up a rival gang member. This is where you can get it? Yeah. I don't even be in the side, I just be on the road. Shit, I've been in Cali for real. Yeah. You busy? Yeah. All the time? Yeah, I just came from a show, shit, like two, two days ago, three days ago. How often you come back? I'll be like in the night, shit. Just like, passing through? Yeah. Same as that? Through our policy. Yeah, the next day leave, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all stay on, on the north side when you come back? Mm -hmm. I stay on Heart Ridge. Heart Ridge? Like, what's that, what, um, what that shit called over there? West that elementary, like, division on the other side, though. Okay. Like, West Jacks, right. where the police station at? Oh, oh Conwell. Yeah, Conwell. Oh, I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so that's where you, that's where you normally be at whenever yeah. you're in town? Uh, like, in and out. Yeah. <laughs> what? Man, you ain't gonna be staying over there since you were 16, 14, 15. I'd be in and out, bro. You can't tell me that I'd be in and out, man. When was the last time you actually sat there? I left two days ago. I've been, I've been in the city for two days. Who says that? Me. <laughs> me. Just you? Yeah, I'd be in Who and out. That's, 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 that's my mama house. She own that house. She own it? Yeah. She don't stay there? Hmm? She don't stay there? Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. Um, what, uh, where was your last show this weekend? And sunk the South Carolina. What was up with the homeboy getting on the stage? She, he punched me, she, I don't know. He got all the way out there and, got, and snuck you? What punched was your security guards doing? She, he Stop got him and beat him bad, she. He got beat he really? He punched me. I, 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 thought, I thought the point of security was to not let him get that close in the first place. I let the soil like a trampoline in front of that stage, but he got up there too fast. <laughs> He was what right now? He was a trampoline. A trampoline? And so, so he yeah. just jumped up there? Yeah. I knew it. Batman or some shit. You got you good? Yeah, yeah. He punched the shot, man. Did you keep rapping? Huh? No. Hell no. No, nah, you stopped my money a little. For real? You, you finished the show? Mm -hmm. I don't blame you on that. Shit. What, uh, with that, people were saying that that was you on the floor, and I'm like, his security guards are going to be beating him up? Oh, no. Hell no. Yeah. It'd just be people talking shit in the city. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of shit talking out there. Mm. What, um, how, so what, uh, how are you in the city? Hmm? How are you in the city? You got a lot of fans? Yeah, this shit is straight, but you know, shit. It's straight. I be in the mall sometimes, shit, take a picture, but it's, it is what it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got pressure anywhere? Pressure? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what you mean? What you think I mean? What's pressure? Pressure, like, is your face good everywhere in the city? I'm just asking, bro. I never talked to you before. Where you got hate? But Where are people hating on you? I don't know, shit. Niggas won't like me because I'm a rapper. That's it. I'm doing better than a lot of shit. Regular people. Just like the nigga who punched me. I don't know the nigga from a can of paint. He just punched me because get clout, get money. Probably get an interview out there. Uh, probably just that make a song. Like, yeah. Oh. You think people rap about real life shit? No, most of that shit. Niggas be cow. 
Like they didn't be taking care. credit for shit they didn't do? No, nah, niggas just be cap who just rapping about shit. Like, that should be cap. Like, you got a lot of rappers who just cap. Yeah. Just to stay on top? Mm, just to be relevant or some shit. Yeah. I don't know. Niggas just be cap. People be capping when they rap about you? Shit, I don't know shit. You gotta ask them. Nigga rap about me, shit. Well, I, mean, I look at a nigga like, I hear a thousand diss songs a day about me. Yeah, but if they say something, I don't know what this shit. You, you can say, hey, this is bullshit or whatever. You know what I mean? I ain't responding. Like, no, no, no. I'm just saying in your head. Yeah. You don't, you don't be saying, no, no, that's wrong. No. I just let niggas talk shit. They gonna do that regardless. Just you rap. You I talk back in your music, though. I got done up million followers and everything. Like, so yeah. niggas gonna do that. Yeah. Would you agree that the, those, those million followers, a majority of them follow you because of the type of music you do? You said they follow me for the music I do? Yeah, for the type of music you do. If you switched out the style of your music, would, would they would still, would you be still selling I got million million crazy songs. Oh, bro, I got Play With Me, Why Would You Play With Me, I got Rough Ride, I got a lot of songs that's not, you know what I'm saying? Right, but, you, but the majority of your songs is... Fulio is confused by the question. Of course, his fans listen to him because they like his style of music. That is the whole point. And he isn't even sure what this has to do with why he has been arrested. Draw rap. Nah, it's probably 50-50. 50, 50. 50, 50 You gotta really listen to my songs. If you just paying attention to that, then that's what you're gonna get out of. But you think my real you, fans know what it is. You think all your fans are listening to you for which 50% of them? See, the 50, the 50, 50 is half and half. That's what I'm saying. What's the, what's the song that got the most views that you've ever had? Play With Me. It got more Why songs would you play with me? Why would you? That's the one that blew me up on TikTok. That's how I got famous. So when I see you didn't put you on them? Didn't no, make that just blew me up more, but Play With Me is the one that got put on TikTok. I went number one, all types of shit. That still got more views than when I see Why you? Why would you play with me? Yes. On TikTok, that would blew me up. That's how they found out about me. When did you drop that? Probably like a year ago. A year yeah. and a half ago, some shit like that. So that was right before when I see you? Probably was, yeah. Like, just a month or two. Something like that? No, hell no. Probably like four. Yeah. Probably like four. Not long, man. Yeah. It went viral on TikTok, like Spottom song went viral on TikTok? Yeah, play with me. But nobody knows it was my song at first type shit. Because it sounded like some melodic juice or some shit like that. Yeah. Some shit like that. Hmm. What, um, what, uh, did, is J-Dot or, or, or Jarvo getting signed anywhere? <laughs> not J, not j not the one, I'm talking about Jalen. I don't know, man. I, that man, these people don't rap like me, like, I you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but they went to Cali with you, right? I don't rock like me, man. They, shit, they just dead just to have a good time. Shit. You don't help push them up on their careers? They don't rap, shit. All right, Jarvis does. He just dropped his thing. Oh, shit. I'm saying. He's trying. I have six is what he dropped, Yeah, he's right? trying. He, shit, he doing what he said. What he want to do? He, he, has, he is on the wrong man. Shit, I can't. I don't know. I got you. Yeah, but you can, you can help him out. You can influence him and say, all right, let's see. I've been, in the, industry say, I've been in the industry longer than you. You do what you do, I do what I do, but you just... Uh, uh, you don't want to kind of guide him? You, you, how am I guide somebody? He grown like me. Put on drawers yeah, like but you me. Yeah, you been doing all this more than he has. Longer than he has. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. I mean, you're signed to him. You know all the ins and outs, no? Yeah, yeah. Did Coach yeah. get signed? No, if you round me, you see what going on, you could just take the footsteps, drop me with shit. That's what's up to them. Yeah, you want to do music, shit. I don't know. Fortunate enough to be able to do shit like that. Fortunate nigga to do shit. Did you and K Shorty get along? Yeah, that's my little brother. Okay, so y'all have, y'all have any pressure? Mm. No. Why would people say that y'all had issues with each other? It's the internet. You got interviewers and shit like that. It's the internet. I don't know what's going on. It's just the internet. They're making it up. Yeah. Fulio denies that he has any problem with another rapper, saying that people lie and exaggerate on the internet. This is true enough that it can't be refuted. You ever, you ever see Jake Jit or... Who? Jake Jit. Who the fuck is that? It's free and here is Bill Yeah. Oh, Fat J. Who the fuck? You don't know who that is? Japan? How about that one? Yeah, no. Nah. What the fuck? You don't know who that is? always hanging out with your brother? Nah, nah not like when I say my brother. Like, that's that's like, what I'm saying. So you don't keep track of the people that you're close with? But niggas grown, bro. I could be right here in Cali, niggas, way doing what they doing, like... You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So you you trying to take anybody with you out of the city? Huh? You trying to take anybody with you out of the city? What's mean, like shows and shit? Yeah, like bring the people out, man. Take them out the hood. Like you made it out of the hood. Shit, bring the people with you. I ain't gonna cap, bro. I'm the type of person. You want to support me, call. Um, but they gotta support you to come. Yeah, I'm gonna be on the face, shit, right? You know. 
You gotta support a nigga. You can't just come get up, hop your ass up, and just come on me. But you don't wanna help them get out. And by helping them niggas, by this, you genuine, if you real, like, niggas just come around because that's what a nigga got, because a nigga got money and shit, like, jury and shit like that. I mean, you can make friends once you're famous. I got rapper friends and shit, like, that's... You that make like, friends with regular people once you're famous? Nah, uh, that shit ain't wrong. What is going to ain't going to benefit me. So it's all about what benefits you? Yeah, it got make sense. Mm. Man, that's rough. Rough life or rough way to live life, at least. No, no, that's like that's like your homeboys, man, like your mud brothers that went like back in the day. Yeah. yeah. And then you know the ones that still with you, like Kojak and and all the other ones that are still riding with you. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna try to bring them out. You gonna just leave them right back in freaking North Side of Jacksonville? Oh, they doing what they doing, bro. People got their own shit going on, man. You always got to understand. People got their own shit going on, bro. The mm-hmm. nigga got kids and some more shit, so I can't do. I got a family too, shit. You got your? I got to get on the way, but shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, what is it? Yeah. Where she stay at? In Gainesville. Oh, okay. Y'all stay together? Mm-mm. She got a little apartment, do like oh shit. You at least help her out. Come on, man. I'm <laughs> gotta ask, man. Come He's on. got to. Yeah. He, ain't, he ain't like that. <laughs> what? Uh, where's your next show at? Mm, California, uh, San Diego, or some shit. Your shows sell out? Yeah, I'm really straight. Yeah. How much you average for a show? I feel like probably like 20,000, 25,000, some shit like that. What kind of venues are these? Yeah, some I mean. clubs, some regular clubs. Yeah. Uh, it depends. Like Onyx? Huh? Like that kind of club? Like Onyx on Norwood? Like- probably depends. Like, it'll probably be a club like that, but then it'll probably be a strip club, or it'll probably be like an outside event. It just depends. Whatever. Yeah, okay. When are you going to put a show on him, that freaking Moncrief Liquors or something? Who? You don't know what the Moncrief Liquors is? <laughs> that, 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 right there, right there, right there, Moncrief Road, yeah. I do a show at a liquor store, that don't make sense. Come on, man. It's a liquor store, man. That's not me. Really what about the gate gas station right there? 45th. They got plenty of room. Yeah, man. You going to do one in Jacksonville? Yeah, be done. I already did a show in Jacksonville. When did you do one in Jacksonville? Young Thug brought me out at Daly's on a tour, on a Justin Bieber tour. Mm. Okay. Well, that was like a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Hmm? A couple weeks ago? No, it was a couple months ago. What about your own show? You going you gonna to put on your own show here in the city? If y'all let me see, I'll give out the community and shit. Shit, we let Papa do his show here? That's him on me. What you mean? He him on me, shit. Right. Well, I mean, we're going to let him do one. We're going to let you do one. I don't think anybody's stopping you from putting on a show. Mm-hmm. For real? I don't know. You scared to put on a show in Jacksonville? Be I real. performed at Daly's place. Was that, was that kind of a surprise showing them? Mm-hmm. Is it I, I, pro- I promoted it. You don't know say, oh, promote the show. I'm going to bring you out on tour. Oh, you do? And I came. I did this on my Instagram. And I came and I did the show. Oh. And stand for since you brought up your Instagram. That's my label. What is it? What does it stand for? Mm. Like, what does it stand for? I ain't no mean music. That's my label. I got a copyright. PCT wasn't your label? Yeah, I'm not. What the fuck? I'm my own shit. What does that stand for? I don't know. That's that label shit. I don't know what Who would I have for. to ask to ask that label? Julio should be growing suspicious that they aren't asking any questions related to the traffic stop or his supposed fleeing. Whoever lived with it, you asking me about nothing, nigga. Shit, I don't know. Man, you know. No, I don't. I know getting my shit. I got a copyright. I got a stamp on Craig Music. I get a bust down budget. I, 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 I get you on that. I feel you on that. But you, you may walk around with your freaking hoodie cinched down, bro. You feel me? So you can only see this. But in all reality, you see everything that's going on. You know, you you can tell me who, who's who's them, whose label that is, or label that is you know what i'm saying no, just because you physically walk around and you don't want to see shit because you want to keep your face covered up in jacksonville doesn't mean you don't know whose label that is you know what i'm saying then they used to promote your music who pct entertainment i always have my own youtube you always had your own youtube yeah i always drop my own it stands for it ain't no man it's in i fuck with like sports. Like, like, do you know what, like, it stands for, though? Like, are you talking about sports? Yeah. Yeah, no, I really don't. It's some crazy shit. 
Uh, so you just said, I like that, I'm going to call my label up. Yeah, I watch that shit so much, shit. Man, I almost got a copyright claim by that shit, too. Do you see Trey Boy since he's been out? Mm-mm. No. I don't hang with niggas. You don't hang with them? I don't hang with niggas. What you mean by that? I, I be on my own time and I don't hang with that shit. I mean, you wasn't on your own today. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> they straight, they cool, that's blood shit. I don't... I don't Is Kojak know. blood? Yeah, that's my little cousin. See, his mama came to the scene. Oh, she did? Yeah, that was the mama. No, I didn't, I didn't see her. I'll sit in my truck. All right, man. So you still stay on Harvard Street? Uh, be in the lot. So if I need to contact you, I'll go to Harvard I gave one of y'all my number. Two of y'all finna be calling my phone. No. Nah. One of y'all I gave my number. Do you want us to call you? No, I gave one. Oh, it was the black dude. It was the black one. Uh, yeah. We can call you if you want us to. <laughs> yeah. He, 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 he's just trying to, you know, get justice for you. Was, was, was Mitchell? No, was Mitchell I, he talking about the gang tag dude. When he walked up to me with a little notepad and asked me, oh, what's your number? Oh. The, the, the dude who was on the scene. Oh, I got you. All right. All right, All right man. We'll be back with you in a second, yeah, man. Right? What's going on? Though? Like, I can't make a phone call to have somebody outside. Wait. We're, we're not right now. We'll let you get out. Uh, let me see where your phone's at first. All right. I appreciate it. And, uh, The police have left the room since their focus is more on the phone rather than Fulio himself. Put out the front of set, cause it ain't working yet. Put a pound in there, we finna work with that. On the bed and I'm feeling sorrow. Tonight I'm in the bed about tomorrow. Say mama and mama, I've been feeling homesick. It demons inside my heart and I've been feeling growing. I got people around me without even knowing. I all kind of different attempts is that they wasn't sure. People are standing on your back and smiling in your face. People that act how they act, but they want your space. Say so that is love out they mouth, but they really hate. So I've been looking for peace and begging for space. Lord, I'm just digging to an end. Lord, I'm just a nigga, so I see him. We spin it, but we spin it, but then spin it again. He got to think about what he did. I've been feeling pain so long. I don't make no, I don't make it no better. I give my heart to whoever. They take it and they run. Yeah, I had me, but she lost me. I'm not mad, I'm exhausted. Please, please, if you come around, give me something to make me smile. It's been so many dark days, been so many dark days, dark clouds, been so many dark days, been so many dark days, dark clouds. During his trial, the police admitted that he had been targeted and that they did not have a search warrant for the phone that they confiscated. Fulio pleaded no contest the charges of tampering with evidence, a third-degree felony, in exchange for six months probation, which he served at a confidential location in Georgia. Fulio is a known gang affiliate and has been ordered not to contact six individuals he is associated with. 
The court will keep those names confidential. Hit the like button and check out my Patreon link in the description. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.